Hello, my name is Victoria Bergman, and this is my reflective video on my information presentation for Speech 101. The purpose for this, um, for the information speech presentation, was to acknowledge that public communications can take on many forms, um, especially in this day and age when there's so many different types of media available. Uh, going into this presentation, I felt excited because I knew that I would not have to stand in front of people to give my speech, and I looked forward to the topic choices that I had selected. I did not experience speaker anxiety in this presentation, although I still found myself talking rather fast and uh, didn't take very many um, areas to breathe. I think the reasoning was I didn't have to watch the audience's face so I didn't have to worry about negative reactions. Other than a slight hiccup when I was trying to figure out how to compress the PowerPoint, all of my technology performed perfectly, uh, but in order to make a better presentation, it'd probably be good to get a better microphone. I felt that the examples were the easiest part, because as long as you avoided plagiarization, you could just summarize it, but I had issues with transitions, being able to go from one point to another smoothly without just jumping around. In consideration of the audience, I chose a language suitable for college students. I uh, went ahead and assumed that my audience had a working knowledge of the basic of the topic that I had chosen, so that I could focus on the relevant information of my central thesis without having to go into too much background information. My main difficulty in this presentation was to make sure the timing was correct, to make sure that the slides didn't cut off too soon, but to also make sure I didn't have awkward silences when there didn't really have to be. Although it was difficult, the timing was also the part that uh, worked the best in the end. And But in order to improve, it'd be helpful if I included more words on my slide. I had a tendency to oversimplify my slides, which may leave some confused, as not all of the information I talk about is actually written down. In connection to class, a PowerPoint presentation works well for lectures where the audience is trying to cram information in without possibly really caring about what the information is saying. As seen in chapter 1 on page 24, a linear model of communication is when the message travels from the source to the receiver through a channel without feedback from the receiver. This is similar to the PowerPoint presentation in that the speaker is unable to get feedback from the audience because even though there's comments and reviews, those uh, the speaker won't be able to get those until after the presentation is done. So the speaker can't modify how they say um, their topic while they're doing the presentation. Uh, this means that although you can't get a po the possible range that you could have, it also makes it go down to the message, the core message that the speaker is trying to say. Conversely, when presenting to a live audience, the speaker can change how they say it or change a word or two in order to make it more likable to the audience or to get the reaction from the audience that the speaker is trying to get. Uh, this was Victoria Bergman for Speech 101 the reflective video for the information presentation.